Fear. How are you? You're a, uh, a Melbourne resident. Yes. I know you love AFL. I do. This weekend you have something special to tell us about. Yes, we have the very, very gorgeous Qantas Grid Girls. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mark Webber. As I say, I haven't seen you in a while. We sort of traded messages a little bit, but um, you look well. It's, it's great to be here. Uh, I, I got in yesterday. Uh, I've been up on the uh, Sunshine Coast up there relaxing a little bit. Got into Australia on Saturday, so it was nice to get up there and, and chill out and um, you know, get to Melbourne as late as possible, to be honest. Uh, just stay away from most of the, the fun fair if you can and uh, then just uh, you know, get into where I'm most comfortable, which is in there with all the guys I've been working with for the last eight weeks. Uh, some incredibly long hours, long days. Uh, incredible amount of work gone in for our uh, first Grand Prix. It's a long season, but this is very important for us to start well, obviously, and, and uh, work out where the car is. So, yeah, we're really excited. We want to get our teeth into it, obviously, and, uh, you know, what better place to start than here? You know, I've been overseas for 17 years now. Most of my adult life, I haven't lived in Australia. I spend six weeks a year. If I'm lucky in Australia, the rest is, uh, is in Europe. So, uh, but I still have Queen being inside me. You know, I'm still a country boy, uh, and uh, that will obviously never change. You got a lot of media commitments today, obviously, uh, in the lead up to the weekend, just to give people a bit of an idea on what you put yourself through before you even get in that bunker and talk to your boys. Yeah, well, this year's been pretty good, to be honest. Uh, this morning's uh, appearance here is the only one I'm really doing all weekend, to be honest. So, uh, obviously, Qantas have been, uh, you know, we've been together for a long, long time, and uh, it's a sensational partnership. I'm incredibly proud to fly the flag for Qantas around the world. And uh, you know, I really enjoy planes. I love flying on the A380 when I can. I was on the flight deck the other day with the guys, um, not when it was up in the sky, but um, you know, when we're on the ground at Heathrow. And so yeah, I've got an interest for that. Qantas, as an ambassador, I was talking to someone yesterday and I said that your fit with Qantas is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'm extremely proud to be Australian. I think uh, it's, it's a unbelievably famous airline we know that they've done an incredible job and and uh you know i've always when i can fl flown with them my family do and uh they've been a, a great uh a great credit to our country yeah mark if, if you weren't driving cars what would you like to be doing you know i did my apprenticeship as a plumber when i was uh at school, mate, you know, when I was there every now and again. And, uh, you know, I helped uh, do some work at the Canberra Hospital, the new Canberra Hospital, so I uh, put all the uh, dunnies in there and a few things like that. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's how it turns out, mate. You know, we've all been in the same situation where you make decisions and I believe in fate as well. Things happen for a reason and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's just the way it turned out. So I've been very fortunate, very proud of what I've achieved. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, plumbing probably wouldn't have been flying jets if I uh, if I did some plumbing, but um, you know it's uh, it, it's uh, yeah, it's all part of the journey. <laughs>